Om Shanti, today is your 99th day of your meditative blessing. In this blessing, we are going to talk about our relationship with God. Either we are those souls who are in complete powerful relationship, heart to heart with God, or we are still those devotees who see God as God, just God, not a personal relationship. And thus our attainments are also limited in that case. So in today's Vardhan, or blessing, God tells us that your relationship with me should, should be so close, should be so powerful that you feel all the attainments through me and all those attainments are the qualities and the powers of God. We generally think that God is going to give us the attainment of wealth, of having good relationships in our life, of finding the right husband or the right wife, of finding or having a good child in our life. God gives us a child also, he's blessed us with a child. But God says that is not my work. My work is to give you the knowledge, the divinity, the qualities and the powers. And through that you do the right karmas. Just like a physical father gives us the property or the money. Now whether we use that in the right way or the wrong way is our own karma and our own benefit. So the property of God is also not a physical property but a non-physical spiritual property because God is non-physical he's spiritual he's a spirit he's a point of light so let's find out what exactly Baba or God wants us to do so the father says may you become an embodiment of attainments what all attainments as we've spoken of powers. The eight powers have been mentioned in the description. The 36 virtues also have been mentioned in the description. The link is there. Click on them. Find out whether you are lacking them or you have those powers with you. And you'll find out your relationship with God and the attainments which you have achieved from God yet. So may you become an embodiment of attainments by experiencing all the powers with the awareness of having all rights. Now, I can only have the rights when I have a good relationship with my parents, my physical parents. Similarly, if I have good relationship with God the Father or Parampita Paramatma, the Supreme Beings, the Supreme Creator, the Most Divine Being, the Purifier of all souls, the one who is the bestower of love, the one who is the bestower of peace and happiness, the one who tells us all the secrets of the creation through Brahma, the destruction of the old impure world which is Kalyug through Shankar and the sustenance of the new golden age or heaven on earth through the power of Vishnu in which we see the four hands, two of a male and two of a female. In the golden age, men and women are equal in the eyes of God. That is why it is known as Swarga or heaven. Whereas in Kalyug or in this iron age world, women are looked down upon. They are seen for only just a couple of purposes. That's it. So their value has been reduced. So God comes through Brahma Kumaris and he uplifts the woman folk as in the soul who are in a woman's body. Now Baba says you attain all the powers as a woman also, as a man also. Now whether you can attain those powers by having a connection with me depends upon your love and your faith and your complete connection with the Supreme Being through your heart, not just through your intellect. So let's see what does Baba have to say here. Baba says, if your intellect is constantly linked to the one father, if you are constantly linked to the one father regarding what karmas you should do, how you should think, how you should speak, how you should listen, what you should say, that is where your intellect or your wisdom is. Then if your intellect is constantly linked to the one father, you receive the inheritance of all the powers as a right. Now, what are those powers? The power to discern what is right and what is wrong. The power to decide what is the right karma. The power to tolerate the past karmas which we have done and face those people. Not face them by reacting to them or by putting them down. But facing our own inner weaknesses, reforming them and then facing them with good karmas. Giving back in the right manner. Not a reply, not an answer, not arrogance. But love and peace and purity. And that is what God wants us to do so that we become completely pure before we can leave for the supreme abode. If our karmas are not pure, then it's going to be very difficult to leave the body and one has to another, take another birth on this very earth. So if you think that people who are dying are going to heaven, I'm very sorry to say, Baba says, God says, 
no one has reached up till me my abode till now why because there is no purity in all the souls in kali yuga so death is not the only answer to go to heaven baba says your karmas are the answers and what karmas the ones which i teach you how to do not which you have learned from other people that just donating money or giving food to a poor person becomes a good karma or just going to a temple and giving a lot of wealth over there is a good karma no god says that's not what i count it as good karma so baba says those who perform every action while considering themselves to have a right do not need to say anything or ask for anything if i consider god as my father and not just put him far away by saying he's just god if i consider him as my father then just like in my worldly ways if i have a father and i have a good relationship with my father if i'm listening to everything which my father says provided he's saying everything right in the right manner in kali yuga then i'll have a good relationship with my father same way if i am listening to him god's ways which we learn in brahma kumari is that what is the right way of thinking right way of seeing right way of talking right way of listening right way of karma then i will be close enough to god and all the powers and all the virtues of god will be mine so god says i'll give you all those powers i'll give you all those virtues so that your karmas become beautiful and so that you become more and more beloved of mine and you rise up in my eyes so then baba says the awareness of having all the rights gives you the experience of attaining all the powers then you don't have to ask god for anything that give me peace or give me happiness that's what we do in worship oh god give me love give me peace find me a good person in my life no you attain all the powers and all the virtues and you do the right karmas and you attain everything which you want in this very life now baba says so you have the intoxication that all the powers are your birthright now when will they become our birthright when i believe and i see god as the way he wants us to see as a divine point of light as an ocean of love ocean of peace ocean of knowledge and i imbibe that knowledge use it in my life do the right karmas and thus attain all the attainments of power and peace and love and happiness and virtues within me and i become a lighter being i become an angelic being in god's eyes i become the farishta or the angel of god so then baba says continue to move along as one who has all the rights and dependency will then finish dependency on other people dependency on things around me on money if you think about it during this covid time how many people who are rich are able to survive so this is the time when we have realized whether you have money whether you have the riches whether you are on a higher position it doesn't matter everybody is treating you equally now that is what is known as soul consciousness that during the time of trouble everybody is treated equally when the times are okay then there is a thought about who is higher or who is lower which post and position you belong to but now nobody is looking at all those things that's where people are becoming soul conscious and now the dependency on that money or that name and fame everything is going away so what would you depend upon then that's the question that's the time we can depend upon our powers our virtues which we have attained from god and nothing else will work for us so it's time to become spiritual it's time to connect to god and may you have a blessed day may you stay healthy at your home om shanti Thank you.